gonna make the profiles boom, 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 boom. What it is, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is today on Gunner's Profiles. What it is is real talk in real life by a real one who really did that, who really walked those yard like this. Y'all walked them. What it ain't is added preservatives, frivolous bullshit, fake talk, fake stories, fake news, nothing like that. We're not gonna get into that. Sounds good. Sounds good. My name is Bennett. I'm not trying to be up in that, right? Does it rhyme? I can't call it like an alcoholic, but what I will say in a menudo style in direct fashion, as you can tell by that thumbnail, we're going to talk about a Norteño removal in the county jail. Indubitably, the shit went down, right? So trip out on this. For anyone that knows in the Central Valle, Merced County Jail, created by the dope sound, right? Um, is a very up to par functioning county jail for Norteños, right? Southsiders as well. They have their block, one block. They be motherfucking hoo, hoo, hoo. Rutina is real over there. They be getting their issue on. Baltas from Atwater, Los Baños, fucking wherever they're from, LA, they come through, they slide, they get caught up, they go to the one block. Southsiders got that block sold up. But Norteño block traditionally has been in between three and four block. We've either been on three block or four block when we were active and we functioned, right? It was going down. Um, it was a type of county jail, man, that if you had any, and I mean any type of smut, dirt, questioning marks on your name, Pobrecito, don't go there, right? Don't go there because you're going to leave on a gurney. That's just the way it is. Merced County Jail was fucking functioning like if it was Pelican Bay. Straight up shoot time. People were not playing there. Everybody was aggravated. Everybody was looking at fucking a lot of a lot of time. And so I was they weren't giving a fuck. Comes, they will book you. You get booked, then you get shook. That's just the way it was. Your antennas better be way up to par when you go to the Merced County Jail because motherfuckers will get you. So anyways, I found myself in 2006 in the Merced County Jail. So again, I... I'm, I walked in that motherfucker just like that. Watch out. Slow motion. Fucking brush on bangulation. So as I get to the Merced County Jail, everybody's staring at me hard. I'm talking about Vatos that I was just with last week. They were smoking the pipa. They're all looking at me like, who are you, eh? Sasuke, you don't remember? Sasuke, hey. Oh, that's right, huh? I stood up four days at your house. Yeah, that's me, Baboso. So anyways, I get there, and of course, I go through my clearance process, and there's a lot of homeboys from my neighborhood, so I already know it's going to be easy breezy. It's going to be easy as motherfucking chocolate cake, slicing through a side cake, like, go to a fucking big bite, mm, bomb, right? So I post up right there, um, and I do my motherfucking, I shoot my motherfucking discovery, I shoot whatever I have, right? Everything's good in the hood. I get cleared. Well, as I get cleared, um, I was actually functioning within the regiment at that time on the guys. So my channel was actually locked up with me. He had got locked up about two or three weeks prior for an assault. He was already in there on the block. He was in fucking the last cell. So he sees that I get in there. We already know what's up. I shoot him all the motherfucking wheelies, everything that I have. He gets at me. He says, you're now the cell security, right? So it's ran different in Merced County Jail. Merced County Jail, we have eight man cells. There's about six of them. And everybody has a cell security, meaning you're basically not the shot caller. I hate to say that word because that, I don't like to put that on my plato. But you're basically the one um, running that cell for the homeboys, right? So, of course, I get slid the cell security job. And it's all good in the hood. Ain't nothing new. You know what I mean? I ain't new to this homeboy. I'm true to this. I'm going to continue to progress as I progress, right? Fuck it. La primera ley. Fuck you. Fuck the world. Get up, Chucky, right? We're going to do what we does. Um, so, I remember when I was in there, there was a homeboy from Gilas. Coco from Gilas. Couple homeboys from Song Hole, um, couple homeboys from Merced, homeboy from Levas, another couple homeboys, right? Anyways, there's eight of us in there strong. And two things happened while I was there, right? And I'm gonna tell you about the two situations, and then I'm gonna tell you about what fucking really happened. Bang, bang, right? So when I got there, the Vato Coco was already in question. Coco from Gilas, right? What had happened was he was in Sandy Mush, which is our farm, which is our, like our branch to Sakura, right? Um, and I guess he was running the fucking pot over there, homes, and he was getting just a little too high power. Da -da -da -da! Super Norteño, right? He was doing a little too much. Um, he was a little too aggressive with the homeboys. He wasn't giving them due process. He was having people removed without doing the uh, going along the right, not giving them their due process, not not tapping in with his channels. Then Vato thought he could do what he wanted to do just because he was from Gilroy and we're little old bitty Merced, right? But what he didn't understand was Merced functions. So he got called back to the county jail. Which is what happens if you're out there in Sandy Mush and you're having it your way, um, you're eating sopitas and potato chips right there, and you're over there fucking running the program how you want it. If they hear that you're fucking up downtown, oh, you're going to get called back, all right? So he gets called back. 
So he shows up, got to give him his motherfucking just do, right? About his props, about the show, he pulled up. Anyways, he was there a couple days prior to me to get in there. He was, of course, not the cell security. He was in question. He was still active. He still was functioning. He was cleared, but he was being questioned, right? It was, it was questionable. So I get ran down about him and everything. And I can see just by the way he's acting, man, he's real high powered. Now, at this time, he was already being DP'd, which is discipline. So he was having to mini write, rewrite the uh, B&Ls, which is a list, man, with several names on it. So we're not going to go into the details, but those that know, know, right? So he's rewriting shit. He had to do some puchups and burpees on my and a few essays on why uh, being a fucking cucaracha isn't good. And it, he's doing his thing. He's doing what he's supposed to do, okay? So I'm in there and a homeboy comes from 11th Street. And I talked about 11th Street the other day, right? How I don't got no love for him. But what I forgot to say is there are a couple of homeboys from 11th. And I did say Big Sam and a couple other homeboys that I did have love for. One of them was my homeboy, Boca, right? So Boca comes in. Boca comes in. I've been knowing the Vato for a long time, homes. This is my boy, boy. When I say this is my homeboy, I don't give a fuck. I never even knew the Vato from 11th Street. I get that just popped out of nowhere. Um, or I would have been, I would have been mad about that one. Still, when it did nothing. But when he comes in, he's on the BNLs with a question mark next to his name. <clears throat> oh my, that's an ugly situation, bro, to come into. Um, it's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get real ugly, right? So one of the tier tenders, who's a good homeboy from my neighborhood. He comes down, he's like, I see that put over there sitting on the bed. I said, Simone, yeah, yeah we, you, we might have to whack that fool. And I said, well, just let me know. You know what I mean? Just let me know. I'm like, I got the homeboys on, from San Juan on standby. Two little young thugs. They're ready to get in the fucking mix. They're going to handle their business, right? So he's like, we'll let you know. Anyway, so trip out. Um, the Vato's being SB'd. You know what I mean? He's being SB'd. He's sitting on his bunk like this with his hands in front of him. We took his razor. We took his paperwork. We're shooting it down the tier. Everything is everything. And he's nervous than a motherfucker. And this is my homeboy. You know, I grew up with this dude, man. His family and my family are very close. I know his tias, his tios, his, his brother. I mean, I know his whole, all his people, but I can't act like I'm showing favoritism or love. I got to be mean and I got to be mad, right? So I'm already plotting in my mind what we're going to do. So, so we're going to break each finger one by one, right? Because I'm going to make a fucking example. That's just a fact. This is how I was, man. I was super Norteño myself, man. Highly aggressive. I wanted to show everyone that I was with the business and me being self security and myself, we're going to break bones. Oh, yes. On power, we're going to break bones, right? Whack 100 oh shit. You know what I mean? Straight up. Only in real life. So, anyways, this motherfucker's right there. And uh, what happens is he's in question. Someone had threw him up on the BNLs, man, for some type of frivolous activity, right? So, anyways, they call him out for medical. He gets called out for medical, and the homeboy, the tear tender, gets at me. They, they take the homeboy to medical. He's all like, I avoided that one, right? So the homeboy gets at me. He's like, trip out. Um, If this Vato doesn't come back from medical, well, we already know what it is. He was able to wiggle. He got lucky, right? If he does come back from medical, the homeboy says he's cleared. He's cleared because he knows the situation. He knows the get down, homes. And for him to come back to that hostile environment, to the terror dome, to come back, you gotta have big ass fucking balls, right? So for this Vato to come back to the Norteño active block homes with several regiment members that are incarcerated in there, several bros, several people, man. You got this motherfucker, hey, pinchy fucking Vato loco must be on medication, right? So that's okay, he was going to get his medication. Anyways, so the Vato goes to do his thing. Guess what? The wind blew and this Vato, keys on three. This Vato came on back, right? I was like, mm, that's my boy right there. That's the homie, I knew it. Hey, I just knew you would. I just knew you would. I knew he had it in him, charting the chocolate factory shit. So he came back to the chocolate factory. And of course, the door opened and there I am standing, Willy Wonka, right? That's get going on funny hat and a purple sweater. The Vata comes in and I give him a hug. Hey, bro, you just got cleared. It's all good. He was like, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. I was tripping, right? I said, I ain't gonna lie. So were we, right? Anyway, so he's cleared. And uh, that was a situation in the county jail that could have been very, very, very serious. I mean, I was already getting fed. I was ready. I was already, so I was planning. You know what I mean? I was like, you represent the Norteño here? The Norteño's here? You know, we were like on some lollipop kid shit. We were about to get off, right? We were mad at. And it was going to be an icky, sticky situation because I grew up with this guy. But at the same time, man, the cause is more than one person, right? So, oh, hell no. You must go. And that's just what it was, man. Um, when you're in county jail, you're in prison, you're on them yardas, four yards, three yards. Um, it doesn't matter if it's your own fucking brother. Now, I understand that. My brother, I'm going to rock with my brother to the Fuck it. La primera. Let's go, bro. You know what I mean? Let's handle our business. And that's based on an individual basis. But there are a lot of individuals that be like, fuck that, homes. Don't look at me, little puppet. Right? They'll choke them. They'll choke them and smoke them. They ain't tripping, man. It's their career over that career. That's what it is. Um, 
ugly situations, but I've seen them happen plenty of times, and we'll get into that eventually. So anyways, the homeboy comes back. He's embraced. It's all good. I kind of give him the lightweight rundown of what could have and should have happened if he was all bad, but what didn't and wasn't going to happen. And he was happy about that one. Well, Walter gets out a few days later. He was only in there doing a little like 10 days. Sends me a little feria on my books and everything. I ain't going to lie, man. I'm happy the motherfucker respects for that one, right? That's the only homeboy that ever reached back to me. Serio. All the rest said, I got you. I got you. Oh, yeah, they got me. They got my old lady fucking bent over. You know what I mean? Hitting the Arby's. They got me all right, right? They got me from my fucking Jordans, too. Jay Jonas, right? But those got me. Oh, I got you covered, eh? I got you covered. So, okay, hey, hey, that's my shirt, eh? You know what I mean? Oh, hold. <laughs> straight up. They'll get you, all right? So, anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about is this removal, okay? So, this Vato Coco from Gilas is in there. And it's all good, but me, he rubbed me the wrong way right from the gate, right when I got in there. I mean, this Vato was just super high power, super Norteño. And I've been... I myself was all fucking da -da -da -da, but I've been around a lot of Norteños that are very humble, respectful homes, Vatos that carry themselves like a straight veterano, a straight G, well seasoned, well laced stuff, been everywhere, Corco, High Desert homes, Vatos been to fucking Tracy, San Quentin, Vatos been everywhere, you know, Vatos have been around the block in the 6th floor, riding on four flats, but are still rolling, I see them rolling, Vatos are hating, they were getting their issue, right? But this Vato acted like if he were fucking, was fucking the highest ranking member of Nuestra Familia from Pelican Bay or something, right? Which he was not. He was just a regular Norteño at that time, a Northerner, right? Um, but this Vato, you couldn't tell him shit. He was from Gilas, Gilroy, and I met a lot of good righteous ass homeboys. Shout out to the city of Gilroy, Garlic City. You know what it is, man. Down ass homeboys. Rest in peace to my boy Spankio, right? Spanks. Just good ass homeboys, bro. But this motherfucker right here was different. Oh, yeah, he was different. And it was about to get different for him. So I start getting at the homeboys and they're questioning him because I guess he's trying to get at, you know, he's right. He wrote a wheelie to the bay or a wheelie to Corco, the shoe, talking about how he's being fucking treated uh, bad in Merced County Jail. Some of the homeboys that are in position are treating him bad. I don't, this motherfucker must have bumped his head on the cell block door because you don't do that, right? He wasn't being treated any other way but righteous. He was good. He's lucky. That about was fucking lucky. He wasn't placated before I got there. He was getting his due process. Anyway, so the homeboys, they're sitting on the wheelhouse. They intercepted him. They're like, Charlie, bro, we gave this Vato his due process. Fuck, it ain't even that big of a deal, bro. The Vato was acting all high power with some homeboys, trying to punk some homeboys over there in Sandy Mush. He came over here, homes, and all we did was give him some essays and some fucking 22s. Fuck, he can't stand the heat. We about to get him the fuck about the kitchen. All right, right? And in that fact, he didn't know where he stepped into. I, I, I don't know where his antennas were when he, un he didn't understand that he was in the Merced County Jail. We were very functioning up to par. Well, he was about to find out. Cell security 101. The gun has stepped in the building. Bang, bang. Oh, I was active. And I functioned, right? So I get in there. The homeboys are getting at me. And uh, they're like, hey, bro, we think this Vato has to go. He has to go because um, he's acting very treasonous right now, man. He's trying to go against basically the COC, which was the chain of command there. But they were still going to give him the benefit of the doubt, right? On some Medea shit. They were going to sit there. They were going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So again, he gets disciplined, homes for fucking, uh, uh, basically going against the chain of command and basically overstepping his boundaries and not going through the proper procedures through his channel, which his channel was me. And then I had the tier security was my channel. And then he had his channel. We had channels. So I was good. Which channel you want to watch? I don't know. Whichever one is fucking safe. Hey, <laughs> straight up. Um, now trip out. So what happens is those two homies from Sanjo were crime partners. They're from the city of Sanjo. I guess they came into Merced, they pulled a little lick, allegedly, whatever the case may be, they were good, righteous, young homeboys, strivers, right, young, striving homeboys, man, they're, hey, I can't, I had not, I have, to this day, I have nothing bad to say about the little homeboys, man, they were good dudes, good dudes, one was from Palmas, the other one was from Grande, right, just good homeboys, so trip out, what happens is, uh, the Vato Coco gets into some type of argument amongst the two, right, about Monterey County, about Santa Clara County, and they're going back and forth, and I'm right here in Mercer County, like, bitch, right? What's happening? Um, and they start to get a little aggressive with each other, and this Vato Coco's like, hey, if you two were fucking locked, if you guys went to prison homes, you guys would be all bad, you guys would be degenerates. So he basically disrespected little homeboys that are striving. You cannot do that, homes. You can't belittle the manpower. You cannot belittle the soldados, the gente. The, the, you you got to show canalismo. You're supposed to show embracement. You're supposed to show love. We're all brothers in this motherfucker. So I was scared. If you have peanut butter, I have jelly. So I was scared. Going bread, vamanos. Half, micha. Half for you, half for me. Better, bigger, half for me. Straight up. I'm trying to win. Um, but he wasn't like that. He was a very uh, 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 vicious individual, meaning he showed individual tactics. It was him above everyone else. 
He had been to prison before. He was high power. He did this. He did that. We was about to do this and do that. Oh, yeah. He was going to feel that, right? Worst one ever. So anyways, um, I strike it up. I get at the homeboy, you know, that's down the way, way my channel. And I let him know, hey, bro, enough is enough, Bato. What are we going to do here? This guy is fucking up too much, man. I'm willing to make the example. So he says, green light, right? Orale. When he said that, he was like, put it in motion. I said, oh, that shit's going to be, it's already in motion. That shit's going to be done tonight. Um, so this is how it went down, allegedly, right? Um, after child, they'll have, what they'll do is the placas will come to the block. And usually the placas hardly walk the block unless they're coming to pick someone up. Um, it's like some serious shit because he's on a gurney or they're coming to bring a nurse, which hardly ever happened. Uh, but for the most part, what happens is, or count time, what happens is they usually come on the block, which is way down there. They'll say keys on three, right? Let, they'll let you know we're coming, motherfucker. Put up the fucking filetos and the cigarette. We're coming, right? And uh, then they'll push the cart in for chow. And then the, they'll pop the tear tender's door. He'll go out. He'll get the cart. He'll serve. So we get our food served by the homeboy. Of course, it's all active Northanians on this block. So you know the homeboy's going to look out and everything. And they get a couple extra trays for their cells. Every day there will be extra trays, four extra trays on And every fucking different day, a different cell. That's the canalismo there, bro. I, I miss that shit. You know what I mean? That was real, homes. Every different day, a different cell got the four extra trays. You know what I mean? That shit, that's righteous as fuck. Comes. You don't know how much something, a gesture like that means to fucking Vatos that are in county jail. You know Vatos that have been in the county jail. You're starving like Marvin, even if you got Cantina. That gesture goes a long way, Holmes. That's the true nature of the Norteño and the Southsider. That's the true love of Mexicanos. That's the, just that, just them four trays. Shit, Holmes, that made me wanted to kill a motherfucker for the homeboys in the cause. Straight up. That meatloaf was bomb that night. Anyway, strip out. So I get this wheel out saying, do what you gotta do, okay? So this is what, it, what happens. They slide in the trays, boom. It was the cell next door to us that got the fours. Bam, on Latina, right? It wasn't going to be no four pretty soon because we was about to fucking body this dude. Um, Blackers are gone. We know the blackers are gone for the rest of the night. They had already did count time. It's over. It's done. Once the homeboy fucking sells in the tear tender, they'll fucking pop his door one more time to push out that cart. And it's game over, home. So we're there. We're posted up until program shutdown time. Upon program shutdown time, we'll do our shutdown and then lights off. You can have your little tubo on till 10 o'clock. And then that was it in the county jail. This is the daily process, the daily routine. What's that get trip out? It's about to get different this day. So Coco's sitting there like this. You know what I mean? Like he's just like he's just fucking some maniac from fucking the gangster disciples or something. All right, we're about to fucking show you homes what the north is like. Well guy, we're about to well gone, right? It's about to be a well guy strike. So the boss is right there. And I tell the little homeboys from San Jose, you guys ready to handle your business? They're like, shit, homes. we were born ready. We're from San Jose. I said, what are they? Well, we about to find out right now. Get out another homeboy, man. The homeboy's actually from Grifas. He's in there chilling. The, a couple homeboys had left, and then a couple homeboys that came up. The homeboy bulk guy was gone already. Like I said, he sent me some feria. You know what I mean? I used it to buy a fucking case of sopas and a piece of soap. That was what it was. But so there was a few different homeboys. So I let the homeboy know from Grifas, and I let the two homeboys know from Songho. It's going to be us four. We're going to tear his ass up. We're going to use weaponry. Um, I'm not going to speak on that here if weaponry was used. Let's just say fucking uh, he got scraped, right? So what had happened was, you know, his antennas must have not been up. Um, it was planned and executed to perfection. I'm not going to go into the details of exactly how it was executed and exactly the ramifications for what happened, but let's just say, get choked out, right? You got about to get choked out a little something, something, and boop, 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 boop. Um, it happened. Don't fight it, because it happened. You know? Keys on three! They came down. They said, what the fuck is going on here? And this was the next morning after he slept on the concrete all night. Ugly situation, right? Hey, what part of the game is this? I think the auto has cramps or something. Let me get him up out of here. They snatched him up. They pulled us all out of the cell. They're checking our hands. Of course, we're easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Our shit is good. We made sure the cell was clean. There's no more sangre. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> he was able to live that day because it came from a higher up. It came from the channel that, you know, he's not to be killed. You know what I mean? Because there was a lot of homies in there doing short time. He's just to be... Uh, smacked one time for his mind. And that's exactly what happened, man. Um, and he was gone. Uh, he was gone on two broken arms, uh, a broken toe bone, uh, a jaw that's never going to be the same, a nose that's this way and that and like that. And, uh, and eye sockets are like that. Straight up. You know what I mean? Um, it happens. 
It happens. It was very vicious. Now, you say to yourself, damn, that's fucked up. You're going to do a Vato like that. This Vato had plenty of chances. Plenty of chances to show canalismo. Plenty of chances to just go in there and humble himself. Humble to treat people with respect. But he chose to be high power. He chose to shit on the little homeboy's parade. He chose to take a cagada on his mattress. He chose to do shit like that, Holmes. And when you bring that light on you and you act way out of character and you think you're bad just because you're from a well-known city, Holmes, well, guess what? No one in that city is going to protect you. You're in our town now. This is our time to shine. We're going to build a white picket fence and shit. You know what I mean? We're doing our thing. He's gross, homie. All right. Pero Merced. You know how it is. Um, anyways, it was just an unfortunate situation. Now, looking back in retrospect, I wish it never happened. I wish I was never part of that. Um, but the fact remains, and it's the historia, another piece of the puzzle going into the cause. That happens every single day. That is just a little something I was involved in. Um, to what degree of involvement? <laughs> Can't call it like an alcoholic. But it happened, right? Anyway, so yeah. You know what I mean? Spence on la tira. <laughs> Literally. Spence on la tira, it happens. Uh, that's how functioning, striving Norteños do it, man. If you're not one well-oiled unit, if well fucking Vato's acting out of character, if he's showing treasonous tactics, if he's showing tyranny, if he's fucking acting just fucking like a baboso, <clears throat> got to go. With that being said, man, I hope that you move fast with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about struggling and striving for your familia. Don't go to Merced County Jail with mud on your name. That's the only pointer I can give you today. That's knowledge that you definitely won't get in Hilt College because I'm telling you, um, you're going to go out like that, Vato. And he got lucky. Yay, yay, straight up. See the shirt in the back? Yay, yay. With that being said, man, you can either hit that like if you like this. If not, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to drop what I drop and do what I does, man. I'm no longer an active Norteño. I'm no longer part of that life, man. But, man, historia is real. Bang, bang. Unfortunate. The gun.